All right, what up? Welcome back to another video. Now, a few weeks ago, I cooked two minute noodles for two hours in this bad boy, and it didn't go very well. There's smoke coming off of this thing. That, <coughs> that smells hot. I forgot that when you open a brand new appliance, you have to thoroughly clean it. Otherwise, it off puts the scent of Death. That's what it smelled like in here. Death. Pla death and machinery. Plastic. So for today's video, I had a fantastic idea. One of the best. Cooking fast in a slow cooker. That's right. I'm going to see if I can whip up a quick meal in a slow cooker. Now you're thinking, what meal am I going to cook? Well, what's a quick meal? You know, what's a period of time where you just got to get wham bam, get some cooking done and eat it and go? Breakfast. That's right, scrambled eggs and bacon in a slow cooker, cooked quick, let's get into it. We got slow cooker cam set up, ready to go. The first mission will be to scramble the eggs, get this heating up. Now I plan on cooking some toast with this, but I don't know if that's gonna go in there, so I've got a toasty machine as a backup. So that we know when um, this thing is ready to cook, I'm gonna put a bit of butter in there. Stone cold at the moment, might take a while. But let's uh, get onto the, the, the eggs and scramble. And surprisingly, I've done a pretty good job. No eggshell in the bowl. Again. Ooh. And not bad, can't complain with that. Okay, it looks like this may take a while. There is a bit of warmth on the outside, but no warmth at all on the inside. But that's okay, that's... A-okay. Um, so I'm gonna start whipping up the eggs. You wanna make sure all the bits are mash mixed up for the perfect fluffy scrambled eggs. There you go. You cannot see. Now you can. That's what it should look like. But a little bit, little bit better than that. I'm gonna keep mixing. All right. I underestimated how long it would take for this thing to heat up. And there's nothing really to do in the meantime. The most important thing about any scrambled egg is stopping from overcooking. Indeed. Two servers scrambled egg, and then a simple spatula. Onto the heat, you never whisk the egg. Whisk it in the pan. Because when you start sort of whisking beforehand, you're breaking it all down. You've got to break it down in the pan. But the secret behind the scrambled egg is to start it on a nice sort of um, generous heat, take it off the heat, go back to the heat, take it off the heat, and treat it. All right, it's been, I don't know how many minutes, but we got some warmth in here. The butter has started to melt. I had to move the GoPro a bit higher because it was getting hot. But I think uh, this means we're ready to engage the cook. Now, the eggs are probably gonna be the quickest. What's not gonna be so quick is the bacon. So this could be potentially the best bacon I've ever cooked, but most likely the worst. You hear that? Not a single pop, crackle, or fizz. That screams a loss of hope in my eyes. I have a feeling the eggs is gonna actually go great because you normally only need to cook them on a low heat anyway. But the bacon could be a very bad idea. Worst case scenario, we got this bad boy. The toasty machine, primo at cooking bacon. But the question is, when should I put the eggs in? Because you know, you want it to be ready at the same time, but this could be years away. All right, look, I'm gonna put the eggs in. If they get ready before the bacon, I'll pull it out, do the toast, and then we'll just zap the bacon in the thing. And it's just about the journey. So here we go. Oh, it's gone over the bacon. Okay, that's not, it's not good. Now, to do a good scrambled egg, you just need to keep it moving. Okay, look, this, this is going down south quite fast. Similar to many of my other videos. Don't know why, don't know what I did to deserve this, but things just don't go right. Okay, think. First of all, we need something to prop this up. Great. All right, that's sorted that issue out. Now, 
is this cooking? Not gonna lie, guys, it's looking pretty grim. Thinking cap. Think I've, I've always got my thinking cap on. People wonder, why does he always wear a hat? This is my thinking cap. Why would you ever take your thinking cap off? Obviously to sleep, yeah? But every other hour of the day, boom, we're in action, thinking mode. And right now, what I'm thinking is, A, we write this one off as a failure, which has happened several times, many times, you know? Most of my videos are written off as a failure by the end of it. B, we just give it a bit of time, you know? We just let, maybe it's not cooking quick. So we've debunked that myth. You can't cook quick in a slow cooker. But can we at least prove that you can cook Look, no, I, I, I'm doomed. I'm doomed either way. Normally by now in a pan, you would start to see some cooked egg clumpage, but not here. Okay, I've had another idea. Earlier in the video, we discovered that the sides get a lot hotter than the bottom. So maybe, oh yes, if I stick the bacon, oh, oh if I stick the bacon to the side, that could cook quicker. We're sticking the bacon to the wall of the slow cooker where most of the direct heat is and then giving the egg more surface area. And you know what, we might actually have to do that. <sighs> so, okay, this is well and truly turned off of cooking quick in a slow cooker and just yet again salvaging a, an unthought out idea. I'll be back with an update on the sitch shortly. The bacon has fallen off the wall, I repeat. The bacon, you probably didn't think you would ever hear that in your life, but the bacon has fallen off the wall. The egg is still not cooking somehow. So I don't know how. Yep. You know what, guys? I'm calling it here. Failed mission. Baby, failed. Done. No questions asked. The idea didn't work. Demyth busted. Myth busted. Now. It's time to adapt, overcome, interpret, conquer. This mess with a recovery mission that I'm going to use the toasty machine. We need to get the egg and the bacon from this mess into this machine in a fashion that can maintain its integrity. How am I going to do that? Okay, okay. Could we, could we soak up the egg in the bread, toast the bread, toast the bacon, and it makes a meal? I'm doing it. I'm making the move. Guys, I'm making the move. This has changed course rapidly. Operation Soak Up Egg. This is actually gonna be lit, I think. Need a bit of fresh air. Oh God. Okay, this is actually starting to look like um, not all that bad. All right, gonna tempor temporarily move the bacon. Oh, ugh. and engage the egg mission. This is some rogue, oh, 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 oh. This is some rogue filmmaking right here, but I'm determined to make this work. Well, that's actually worked kind of well. And I got some chives to chop up over it to just give it that extra touch. So we might as well still use them to try to recover this. All right, great. Okay. Wow, okay. Uh, this has actually kind of turned out all right, I'm gonna zap the bacon for a bit. The egg looks like it's cooked. Get some chives on that. <laughs> There's uh, the, the salvaged egg. And folks, there we have it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that was. I have no explanation. But I've managed to salvage some kind of consumable meal out of this mission. We've discovered that you cannot, and I emphasis, I emphasize, emphasis, you cannot cook fast in a slow cooker. You can only cook slow. So they were right there. But um, let's see if you can salvage a horrific idea such as this.
you know what? That's an A plus. For effort, presentation, The thing just fell off. Presentation gets a serious D minus, but most importantly, the taste gets a hard pass. It's not the greatest, but it's definitely edible. So, there we have it. What a bit of a chaotic series of events, but we got there in the end. We managed to make something out of nothing. And how great's that? But uh, if you enjoyed whatever the heck that was, uh, thanks and thanks for watching until the end. If you feel like subscribing or liking if you haven't already, that would be lit. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, we break the curse of things going wrong and things start to go right. That would be nice. I'll see you then.